What is going to happen according to end time prophecy, the Bible? The Holy Bible consists of 66 books divided into two distinct sections, 39 in the Old Testament and 27 in the New Testament. The story of the New Testament canon is a fascinating one. There are books that were accepted very quickly, almost from the start, for instance, the four Gospels. There are other books such as Second Peter that struggled to gain acceptance. And then there is the book of Revelation, the final book of the Bible, also known as the Apocalypse of John. Few today would contest the claim that the book of Revelation stands as one of the most controversial, complicated, and misunderstood books in the New Testament. Perhaps it should come as no surprise then that its reception by the early church was equally complicated and controversial. No other book was more contested for inclusion in the canon of scripture than the book of Revelation. But there is a blessing that is unique only to the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 1 verse 3. Blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Are you ready? Are you ready for the throne room of heaven to witness the living creatures, each having six wings that do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Are you ready for the Lamb to take the scroll and to begin to open the seals, marking the commencement of the judgment of God? Are you ready for the four horsemen of the apocalypse to make their cosmic descent upon the earth? A rider on a black horse, a rider on a white horse, a rider on a pale horse, and a rider on a red horse. Are you ready for the sixth seal to be opened and for the cosmic disturbance, for the sun to become black and the moon to turn into blood, and for the stars of heaven to fall to the earth? Are you ready for the 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel to be sealed? Are you ready for the prelude to the seven trumpets, where there will be 30 minutes of silence in heaven? 30 minutes of anticipation as the wrath of God is about to be unleashed without limits. During those 30 minutes, every angel, every saint that has ever lived will be in awe of what is about to happen. Are you ready for the seven angels with seven trumpets to sound? Are you ready for the first trumpet to sound where the vegetation will be struck? Are you ready for the second, third, and fourth trumpets to sound and to see an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth because of the remaining blasts of the trumpet of the three angels who are about to sound. Are you ready for the angel that will open up the bottomless pit and that will allow Abaddon Apollyon the destroyer to ascend into the earth with his locusts? Are you ready for the angels from the Euphrates to be released? Are you ready for the arrival of the two witnesses, for them to preach, then to be martyred, and then for them to resurrect and ascend to heaven in a cloud? Are you ready for the rise of the Antichrist and the mark of the beast? Are you ready for the three angels to be sent down to the earth to preach the gospel? Are you ready for the seven bowls of judgment? Are you ready for the heavens to open to see a rider on a white horse? And the rider on that horse is none other than Jesus. His eyes were like a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. Are you ready for the new heaven and the new earth? Are you ready to see the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband? We are approaching the days in which the book of Revelation will be unfolding before our eyes. Today we are going to focus on two sections of the book of Revelation, the Great Tribulation and the Second Coming. The Bible and Jesus told us that there will be a Great Tribulation on earth, such as has never been recorded before. The Antichrist will come into power. What will mark the beginning of the Great Tribulation is not the rapture, but it will be when the Antichrist signs a covenant with Israel for seven years. However, the Antichrist will break the covenant halfway through the seven years Daniel chapter 9 verse 27 gives us further insight. It reads, And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, 
and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate even until the consummation and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate the antichrist will carry out the abomination of desolation by erecting an idol of himself for people to worship those who survive and endure through the tribulation must remain vigilant, understanding that this act signals the start of the final three and a half years of tribulation, the most severe phase. This period will also indicate that the second coming of Lord Jesus is near. The Antichrist will demand worship as a God and will exert his power by making life extremely difficult for anyone who refuses to accept the mark of the beast or to worship his image. Those who do not comply with his demands for worship will face severe persecution. Revelation chapter 13 verses 16 to 17 says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. During the Great Tribulation, the activities of the four horsemen of the apocalypse will occur on earth. Also, the seven seals of God will be opened, the seven trumpets of God will be blown, and the seven bowls of God's wrath will be poured out on the inhabitants of the earth. As each of the seven seals was opened, John witnessed events that took place on earth. As soon as the first seal was opened, John saw the first horseman riding a white horse. He had a bow in his hand and a crown on his head and was given the power to go forth and conquer the entire earth. The opening of the second seal revealed a rider on a red horse who was given a great sword and the power to take peace away from the earth. At the opening of the third seal, John saw a black horse whose rider had a pair of scales in his hand, and the rider of the horse was commanded not to harm the oil and the wine. John saw a pale horse when the fourth seal was opened, and the rider of the horse was death, and hell followed after him. Death was given the power to kill with the sword, with hunger, with death, and with wild beasts, one-fourth of the earth's dwellers. After the fifth seal was opened, John was granted to see the souls of saints who had been slain for the word of God and the testimony they upheld, and they were given white robes and told to rest until their brethren who are left in the world are martyred as they were. The opening of the sixth seal caused a great earthquake on earth. The sun turned as black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. The stars of heaven fell from their heights, and there was great shaking of the heavens and the earth to the extent that even heaven seemed to be folded up. At this point, the people on earth began to seek safety. Revelation chapter 6, verses 16 to 17, And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Revelation chapter 19, verse 11. And I saw heaven opened, and behold a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. There is a sense in which everything before this in the book of Revelation is an introduction to this revelation unveiling of Jesus Christ. Now he returns to earth in power and glory. At the end of the great tribulation, Christ will return in his glory to destroy the Antichrist and his armies and cast them into the lake of fire. The second coming of Christ will be very different from his first advent. In his first coming, Christ came as a sacrificial lamb for sin. But at his second coming, he will appear as a lion to judge the wickedness of nations and to conquer the entire world and restore peace to the people of God. Christ will return with a host of heaven on white horses. Jesus comes as a judge and a general to make war. The world that rejected him before rejects him again. But this time, Jesus judges those who reject him. Jude chapter 1 verse 14 to 15 and Enoch also the seventh from Adam prophesied of these saying behold the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him 
First Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 13 so that he may establish your hearts blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his saints. The prophecy of Enoch the seventh from Adam along with the prophecies of the Apostle Paul and John the Revelator all aligned to tell us of the second coming of the Lord Jesus and his saints. Who is this one described as coming with all his saints? He is revealed in the book of Revelation. Revelation 1.1 states, The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants. The whole Bible reveals Jesus Christ to us, but no book quite reveals him to us like the book of Revelation. In the book of Revelation, the Lord Jesus Christ wants his church to know who he is, because the only way to the Father is through him. If you come through any other way, you come in as a thief and a robber. The Lord Jesus is revealed in the book of Revelation. He is revealed in Revelation 1 verse 18. I am the living one. I was dead. And now look, I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and Hades. He is the risen king, the living one. He is no longer coming as a baby. He is no longer on the cross. He is no longer in the grave. But he is the living one who has the keys of death and Hades the Almighty. He's revealed in Revelation chapter 19 verse 11. And I saw heaven opened and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he doth judge. He is revealed in Revelation chapter 22 verse 13. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. This means it all started with him and it will all consummate with him. Our human minds cannot comprehend that he has always been here in eternity past. He was here forever, before anything was created. He was here before the earth, before the universe, before the angels were created. The Lord Jesus Christ was here. And it is this Lord Jesus whom Enoch speaks of returning with his saints. Revelation chapter 19 verse 15 says, And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. Finally, the wrath of God would be satisfied when his judgment and justice have found expression on earth. Christ will gather the remnant of his people, and we all shall reign with him for a thousand years. Rapture is real, heaven is real, hell is real, the great tribulation is real, and the second coming of Christ is real. If the trumpet should sound now, are you sure you will not be left behind? What is it that will not allow you to be caught up with Christ? You need to nail it to the cross now and make your path straight with the Lord.